What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we're in a brand new game. It's a first look. It's a pre-alpha alpha. It's a demo demo. Alpha alpha demo demo and it's free free. So the link is in the description down below if you would like to try it yourself and check it out. There, uh, the game that you're going to see here is not going to be the final game, but Woodworking Simulator is a game where you can create creations in a free mode in any kind of uh, tutorial environment. Uh, sometimes there will be templates inside of boards you can cut. Drill, lathe, glue, sand, plane, and paint. Any creation that you want. Or anything that comes to your mind. Anything that your mind can come up with. Now, in the tutorial mode, you click on this, it'll give you little hints, tips, and tricks during the whole process, which is good. It's good. I don't know why this, uh, why wind is coming through the wall here. I don't know. I don't know. But if we hop into a new game, it'll give you three different things that you can try to mess around with. We got a birdhouse. Make this bird abode intermediate. Make this familiar looking workbench. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Advanced. Build this wonderful chair. And then there's a free mode. Start from scratch with a selection of wood. And then let your inspiration take hold. Easy to make this bird abode? I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and we'll try one. We'll try the, uh, we'll try the template and, and we'll make a birdhouse for mom. She needs a new birdhouse. She's, she's been asking for it. She needs it. We're going to go into the wood, wood shop. I feel like I'm back in my 10th grade wood uh, shop class and uh, getting yelled at. So, use your tools to cut away from darkened pieces of wood. Attach the pieces of wood using glue. Finish up with oil or paint. Lovely. So, when wood has been templated, parts to remove will appear darker. Hover over a piece of wood and press R to use X-ray to see the final pieces. If your plans came from a project, the name of the part will show. Oh. Okay. So. Let's go ahead and I'll just drop you right there. Let's go ahead and pick up our saw. Okay, I'll right click you. All right, so hover over the wood to position your saw. The red line shows you where it will cut. When cutting, freehand WASD will rotate the saw. Hover near a planed edge and the saw will cut along the edge. Mmm, the preview will turn blue. Sexy. So, I'm just going to cut these pieces off at the end here. And it gives you a little line. I like it. And then left click. Left click, and it saws through the wood. Fancy. And... Boom. Now, if you make a wrong cut, if you uh, did not measure twice and then cut once, and you decided to measure once and then <laughs> cut twice, you can hit the Z in the bottom right. It'll give you uh, different options here. So, right now, you can hit uh, your right, your right clicker to rotate around. You can pan the camera using the middle mouse, Q will drag and <clears throat> move the wood. Uh, space will then reset the tool. Z will undo your selection. So if you mess up, don't worry. There is an undo. But if you're doing this in real life, the only undo button is a brand new piece of wood. Oh, so. Cutting along. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. What are you doing? There we go. Finish. Finish what you started. And we're just going to keep on doing this until this piece of wood is taken out. Boom. All right. Go put the saw down. Look at that. It's a nice cut shaped piece of wood. That's so lovely. It's so lovely. So nice. Let's go ahead and we'll drop that down. Now we need to get rid of these planks. Let's go ahead and throw them in here. Bangarang. Noise. Noise. Now. I do think that they're going to need to have some sort of different way to get rid of these pieces. Like, I don't know, remove all. I'm not, I'm not sure if they're working on a, uh, like a perk system. So that way we can just like, I don't know, double click on something and then it deletes or put it in the barrel. I'm not sure, but there's going to be a bunch of little tiny pieces and you're going to have a whole mess of things to worry about. So let's go ahead. I'm going to rotate, rotate you, rotate you, rotate. Hello. Hello. All right. Let's drop you down. And now, since we picked the easy to, uh, like this particular part or any kind of uh, templated plan, we'll come in the darker wood so we can cut all the dark pieces out of here and keep all the ones that are just put into a uh, template 
So let's just start sawing. And it's pretty wild, man. It's pretty simple. It's pretty basic. I like it. I dig it. I'm a fan. Now, after this, I'm going to put uh, we're gonna hop the, the leg over here. We're going to put that leg onto the lathe. And then we're going to grab some glue, glue everything together, and then finish it, and then give it to Ma. Now, if you're uh, hopping over here to the computer that's in the corner, just want to give you a heads up. This looks a little familiar, doesn't it? Yeah, because the same developers that have made this game made PC Building Simulator. Big fan, big fan, big fan, and uh, you're a big fan of my channel. Now, we've cut out all the little tiny pieces for the square, the square jaws anyway, so now we got to get over to the front and the back. Now, I will say this, for being a demo, this is probably one of the better demos that I've uh, messed around with. Like, this is a pre-alpha, John, and uh, the optimization is done uh, pretty well. And the basics are there. They will need to, I think, to, to upgrade some of these pieces. Now, don't even worry about uh, if you're trying to cut the bottom here, so how it kind of magically went through that piece. Don't you worry. Do not fret, my pet. It won't cut your other pieces, at least not yet anyway. Let's go ahead and we'll cut this side here. Now you're like, oh, well, what's it going to do with the angles? It already knows. It goes along with the template. So go ahead and just saw right through here. And once we get these pieces out, we'll then begin to hit up the lathe. Sounds good? Good, good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. All right. All set. Can I, I want to go? Hit escape. There we go. <laughs> it's like I'm trapped. I can't get out. Uh, let's grab these pieces. And this is what I'm talking about when it comes to we need to have a better kind of trash system. That's all. Because there's going to be a bunch of pieces. They're going to be all over the joint, man. Oh, I forgot to I forgot to cut a piece. Okay, 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 okay. Whoop. Waste not, want not. Make sure everything's nice and tidy. We need a clean working area in order to succeed. All right. Now, if you're a little confused of where you need to go, uh, it's no big deal. It's no big whoop. Hold on. I just need to check these because there's one piece of this that will have. There's the, uh, there's the other one. It's hiding from you. So if you're ever uh, missing or you just don't know where to go, well, well, this will give you a better idea of where you need to go to try and assemble. You can rotate with the right mouse. You can zoom in and out, or you can grab each individual piece. And I'll tell you where you need to go, how you need to succeed. Now, it says that we should probably put like a little lathe, uh, not a lathe, but a drill like a partial hole and then glue it into there. That's rough, man. That's a real rough one. That's a rough one, Tiger. I'm just going to glue this together. Uh, instead of actually putting it in there, because making holes in this uh, in this game so far, right now is a is, is a real it's a real pain in the butt. I'm probably doing a little wrong too, but the only way that I've seen how we do have a chisel though. We have a chisel and we have a drill. Now we don't have different kinds of drill bits. I can't adjust anything, so uh, it's a uh, it's it's kind of a rough one. But let me see here. How to choose where to chisel the highlight? Oh, so yes, this this is how we make this is how we make the holes. The drill is mainly for things like pegs for uh, chairs and tables and such. Uh, Hover to choose where to chisel. The highlight will show you what uh, what's about to be cut. If you are near a planned edge to the chisel, will automatically rotate to follow that edge. Hold the mouse button to keep chiseling deeper, deeper, deeper. All right, all right, all right. Oh. Okay, so hold the chisel. Hey, we're knocking it out of the pack. Bang. Now we need to go deeper. So deep. I'm just gonna hold that in. We're gonna go all the way true. So I, I think there's a lot of different capabilities and possibilities for this game. And I really would like them to uh, expand the horizons. But the second this comes out, man, I'm definitely playing it. For sure. I mean, right now with free mode, it's pretty uh, pretty wild. Let me see if I can just get this out. Awesome. Hey. Now. We have a lathe. 
It's one thing my grandfather never had. I'm uh, infatuated with the uh, kind of videos that you see on Facebook and things like that. With the time lapse lathe uh, grinds. I love it. I love it. So drag to move the plank into the lathe. Use A and D to rotate the plank. Click on the chisel to start the lathe. Okay. So I can rotate the plank. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Don't want to do it. I don't want to do any of that. So can I just Z to undo? I'm going to grab the chisel. All right. Hover to choose where to start chiseling. A and D tilt the chisel. WS control the depth of the cut. In the wood is template. Or if the wood is templated, the chisel will allow or follow the template automatically. Hold the mouse button to use the chisel to refine the wood's contour. Hold W to cut down to the guide. All right, buddy. Check it out. So I hold the chisel. We can move W. And since this is templated, it's going to stop us where the lathe gets a little lighter and lighter in color here. At least I think they will. Hold on, let's see this. <laughs> I've gone too deep. Now when it comes to this, I definitely think they should have some sort of, uh, some sort of guide bar. Because it's definitely going to get a little uneven if you keep on going at it. It just won't. It's like, is this going too deep? What's happening? Ah, there we go. Until it gets a little lighter. It's like, I don't know exactly where I got to stop. Hello? <laughs> Help? Help? All right. All right, I'm done with you. Can I just have you? And looks like we missed a couple spots, but don't you worry. Uh, uh, Mom's not going to notice. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that there. We have our base. We have our nougat here. Let's go ahead and pick that up. I'm just going to chuck you. Now we get to glue everything together. Yay! So, get our Elmers here. Bang. And the, one of these is the bases. Yes. So uh, that's going to be the base. I'm just going to put you there. And let's grab you. Boop. Let's grab the front. Boop. Let's grab the glue. Let's select you. Saving. Okay. Hover and click to choose where to apply the glue. This position will attach to the other plank. Hover and click on the target to choose where to attach the plank. Use A and D to rotate. Edges near the, the glue site will snap if they are close to each other. Okay. So I want to give you a little glue speck on the edge there. And just watch. Well, how about this? I messed up. Z to undo. Escape. Get on the ground. On the ground! You. Let's do the back first. And let's... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's slide this over. We'll put the back on first, so that way we can put the walls on. Which will be these tiny jams right here. And then that way we'll have a nice we'll have a nice birdhouse, okay? Gonna line this up just right. Lovely. Let's grab our glue again. Get it on the side here. Gotta angle this. Boom. Hello? Over here. This camera angle, though, for, for real. I mean, it's useful, don't get me wrong. Thank you. Oof. Now, of course, the edges, I haven't I haven't quite smoothed out those, that chipped away at those edges, so it's gonna be a little janky. I'm not gonna get an A on this project, but I'm definitely gonna get a good grade. Definitely gonna get a good grade. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. I need this teach. So over to the side here. Let's rotate it, make sure that everything is lined up. Boom. Bang. And last but no, I don't want to do that. Put it away. Put it away. <laughs> Get it off. Grab you. And 
boop. Rotate it, WASD. Just trying to get that camera angle to get a better look. That's all, that's all I want. That's all I want. And janky is how I do bugaboo. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, now also you can grab the chisel and you can start making little shingles here on the roof if you feel like it, if you need to, if it's something that is uh, moving you to do so, go right ahead. First things first, let's grab you. I'm going to put a little, put a little spot on you. And even though it says it's red, I can attach it if I feel like it. That's awesome. Let's grab you. I'll drop you right there. And you. Eh. Eh. Right there. And it looks like I forgot to put the hole in the bottom, but we'll just have to do our best. And here we go. Bang. Ha <laughs> ha. That's the most beautiful birdhouse you ever did see. I'll tell you that much. For for a first time, I think that's pretty all right. Now we need to finish it. Uh, let's get our Danish oil, our walnut oil, but Danish and walnut for all types of woods. <laughs> really now, apply oil, hold to apply. Oh, I'm applying. Oh, look at that. You gotta give it that shine, kid. You gotta give it that shine. I should probably sand the edges though. Let's go ahead and sand the edges. Not playing the edges. That would be terrible. Just want to see what this looks like. I'll oh, check it out. Hover to choose where to sand. Hover A and D to rotate the sander. Hold the mouse button to sand. Sanding will remove paint or oil from the wood surface. No kidding. Uh, hold the sand off. Oh, it doesn't. It, 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 it cares not for these edges right now, man. But let me tell you something. Nothing's nicer than putting your hand over a nice sanded edge. A good sanded edge. Makes everything nice. But like I was saying before, I definitely think they should have some sort of uh, machines at some point. I mean, the hand tools are very nice. I'd love to whittle wood with you sometime, sir. Hey, buddy. Let me tell you, mom is really going to be really going to be happy. We're going to bring this home. Now, the worst part is trying to get this on the bus. <laughs> Everyone's going to be looking at me. Oh, nice, nice, nice birdhouse. Did you get that for your mom? Shut up. I love my mom. Uh... Then the bus driver's like, you can't bring that on the bus. It's a weapon. I mean, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. Can I get inside here? Oh yeah, I gotta get it. Get it inside the hole. All right. Hold on. Excuse me. And nothing beats a photograph mod. Um, I don't need why, I don't understand why I have to have the uh, camera in the shot. <laughs> I'll just take I'll just take my own screenshots, please. Thank you. Can I put this down. Thank you. Good. 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 All right. So our birdhouse is complete. It's ever so beautiful, ever so lovely, ever so nice. Love it. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. But now, as far as what we can make in free mode. That's the interesting part. I'm all about it. So here's the thing. Make the template. Now what do I do with it? I don't know. Put it in the cubby. Can I put it outside? For all the birdies to enjoy? Alright. I'm going to hop into free mode here. And I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to use the lathe. I think I'm going to do that. I think so. I just noticed the skylight right now. Gorgeous. Uh, I will say spray painting this is actually pretty nifty. I mean, it's going through the wood. But, it is what it is. Check out my masterpiece. My amazing masterpiece. Hold on. Ah! <laughs> this is what I saw at Area 51. So here's a couple things. 
Um, I was trying to make a UFO on the lathe. The lathe controls... I'm just not understand. I don't know if I'm understanding it or not. Uh, but every single time I try to make it, it just looks janky. And if you don't get it perfectly in the center there, then you're going to be grinding. I actually went through a bunch of pieces of wood just to just to try and get something that looks circular. And I just it's it, it's a, it's it's chippy, like it's it's square. And then when I go to use the sander, like I don't, I think the sander is just used to to strip paint and finish off of your project because I'm not, <laughs> I, I'm trying to round some of these edges and I'm just grinding away, grinding away. And uh, this is what I came up with. This is what I saw in Area 51. Look what I made in Woodshop, Ma. Oh, that's lovely. We're gonna put that on the wall, aren't we, honey? Yeah, sure, yeah, sure, honey. Sure, we'll, we'll definitely put that on the wall. We'll definitely put that on the wall. No, we won't. No, we won't. But folks, <laughs> let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And if you want to uh, try this game out for yourself, the demo is free. Link is in the description down below again. And by all means, check it out. And then hop into the Discord and show me what you made. Maybe give me some hints, tips, and tricks. But as you can see, I'm trash. But you know what? It's all about effort. And I think you can give me an E for effort. For sure. For sure. I probably could have chiseled the eyes out. And as I'm chiseling away, I'm like, this is masochistic. Uh, but all the different paints, the only one, the reason why I had to get dark green was because they don't have a black. They have white, blue, or red, lime green, thank God, and dark green. Let's go ahead and paint this jam. Pan the man. Uh, uh. And if you hit it right in the light, you can't see anything. So you got to get, got to keep on hitting it at an angle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nope, Z, a little too much. There we go. Yeah. And you can't be precise, so any kind of like points that you have in here, if it's a, I was trying to get some pointy eyes instead of giving it a ghost face. Kind of looks like uh, the face on a Van Gogh painting. But, do what you can with what you're given. My friends, my friends. Again, that is going to be our episode for today. If you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button. Helps out my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos are coming out every single day, every single week. Folks, have a great day, afternoon, evening, a good night. Peace out, like shout, y'all. And I will check you out right here again in Woodwork Simulator next time. Also, hop into the Discord. Show me what you made. I'm going to have a seat here. I'm going to bask in my work.